Well, I won't be surprised when Cuba Gooden Jr.'s uh, house houses are raided by the FBI for uh, assault, harassment, probably doing some sex trafficking as, trafficking as well, along with uh, Diddy Combs, uh, whose uh, houses got raided for sex trafficking. Uh, hopefully these people will be put in prison. The air we're hearing for the first time from a rep for Diddy, Sean Combs. Remember, after the feds raided his houses in California and in Florida, we brought it to you as breaking news on this show 24 hours ago with those live aerials at the time. Well, now those reps for Combs say that this was, and I'm quoting here, a gross use of military level force and that Diddy is innocent. Remember, just the last couple of Okay, why did you go into hiding if you were so innocent? I mean, if you have, if there is no evidence proving that you're trapped, uh, especially with the amount of money that you have, but he went into hiding because he knew he got caught. Well, minutes too, we're learning that the feds apparently found guns at the homes of Combs, according to three sources familiar with the matter. Diddy is now at the center of this federal investigation, with multiple people being interviewed by federal officials in New York related to allegations of sex trafficking, assault, and more against the rapper, according to its sources tell NBC. And that says NBC is learning exclusively that the music producer accusing Diddy of sexual assault and harassment is also accusing actor Cuba Good I mean, his wife accused him of sex trafficking and sued him, and he uh, settled for an undisclosed something. Junior, this producer filed the original lawsuit last month, accusing Combs of forcing him to find sex workers and pressuring him into doing sexual things with them. Now, he's saying Gooding groped and fondled him while they were on Combs's yacht. No comment from Gooding's reps yet. Dana Griffin is joining us now, but tell us more about what Diddy's reps are saying about all of this here. Yeah, Hallie, they just released a statement within the last hour. I'm going to read parts of it. They call this a gross overuse of military level force. They go on to say that there is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated. It also yeah, this amount of force is needed when it comes to people sex trafficking other people.